In this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step on how to make changes to your Amazon product listings in bulk using a flat file. You'll easily be able to make updates to literally anything and everything, including titles, descriptions, pricing, images, and so much more. Flat files look intimidating at first, but once you watch this tutorial, you'll be a wizard at it. This tutorial takes you from step one, which is downloading your template, all the way to uploading it to Amazon. I've included chapters so you can skip around the video and revisit certain sections as you need it. Don't forget to save this video to your watch later playlist because you might find yourself needing to go back to it. Okay, now let's get into the tutorial. Step one, download your template. So you're going to go up to the menu and click catalog and then add products via upload. Click the Download Spreadsheet tab. So there's a series of options here, and in this case, we're going to click Get Product Template. This box pops up giving you some info, and you're just going to click Product Template in the second bullet point. Choose your marketplace, and by the way, you'll be able to add additional marketplaces later in the process if you wish. Now you have to select the category that your product is currently listed in. You can either use the search tool and it will suggest pathways to choose from, or you can manually do it here. This next section is where you can add additional marketplaces if you wish. Scroll down. I just leave this section as is. Then click Generate Template and it's going to download an Excel file to your computer. Now you want to open this file in either Excel or Google Sheets. If you don't have Excel, I'll link a free web version in the description box below, or I like to use Google Sheets, which is also free. So for this example, we're going to use Google Sheets. So go ahead and open up a new blank spreadsheet. Then go to File, Import, Upload, then select or drag the template you just downloaded. Then click Import Data. Now let's quickly go over what each tab means. Instructions. You can give this tab a readover to get a better understanding of the spreadsheet. Images. This is nice that Amazon includes this. It's a reminder of their product image guidelines that us sellers have to abide by. Example. In this tab is seven examples of a completed template. Data definitions. If you don't know what any of the titles mean, this tab gives you the definitions along with examples. If you scroll over, it tells you which fields are required and which are optional. Template. This is the tab that we're going to be filling out. Browse data. This is your product's category path and this will come into play later when filling out the template. Valid values. If you're ever confused on what you're supposed to fill a cell with, this tab tells you the values that Amazon will accept. All right, so this template tab is what you're going to be filling out. So this tutorial is on how to make updates to an existing product listing. So some fields are required to be filled out, but not all of them. Product type. You can click the drop down and select the given product type. This drop down feature is glitchy if you're using Google Sheets, but it should work if you're using Excel. However, you can always go to the valid values tab and grab the info from there. Seller SKU. Copy and paste your product's SKU here. And side note, I like to click this bar at the top before pasting so it doesn't transfer any weird formatting or anything like that. Brand name. Enter the brand name that your product is listed under. Item type keyword. Go over to the valid values tab and copy and paste the item type keyword. Product name. So this is your product's title. Either enter in your new title, if that's what you're wanting to make changes to, or copy and paste its current title. If it pasted with these extra periods, just backspace them. Product ID. If you look under the Valid Values tab, you have a few options to choose from, but I like to use the product's ASIN. The ASIN is located under the product's title in the Inventory tab. Manufacturer. Enter in the manufacturer you have listed already for your product. Manufacturer part number. We don't need to enter this in, so skip over it. Product ID type. 
We chose to enter in the ASIN, so type ASIN. Now you can skip over the rest of these unless you're looking to make changes to them. Main image URL. This would be your product's main photo and the rest of the images are over here in yellow. I have a specific tutorial on how to fill these out, which I'll link below. But if you're not looking to make any changes to this, then leave it blank. And same with variations. I have a specific video on how to group together child listings under a mutual parent listing if you want your variations to show up together on one listing page, like this example here. Now scroll over to the basic section. Under update delete, we're going to type partial update like this with no space. This is because we are making updates to an existing listing. You would use update if you were adding a new listing and delete if you wanted to delete a listing. So that should be everything that is mandatory to fill out and I'll quickly go over a few more sections because you might be looking to update them. Product description. It's exactly that, the product's description that's on the listing page. Key product features, these are your bullet points. Search terms, these are the backend keywords. Separate them with spaces and don't repeat any words. And do not include competitors, brand names, or ASINs. And as you can see, there are a ton of things here that you can add slash update on your listing. If you're ever not sure on what one of the sections means, you can always go to the data definitions tab or valid values tab and it's pretty easy to figure it out from there. When you're done filling out your template, go ahead and export it as an Excel file. It's important that you select the correct file type. Now let's upload the file to Amazon. Click menu, catalog, add products via upload. Click upload your spreadsheet, drag and drop the template file you exported from Google Sheets. You can type in your email address to be alerted when the upload is complete. It won't take very long for it to upload though, unless you have a very large file. Click upload file. You should see your file on the next page with upload status in progress. When it's complete, that will change to upload status done. If any errors were detected, you can click download your processing report, open it up, and it will tell you your errors that you need to fix. Most changes, you should be able to see it take effect to your listing in about 15 minutes or so. Other attributes like images or video can take up to 24 hours. And that's it, you've successfully made changes to your Amazon product listing using a flat file. If you found this tutorial helpful, please click the like button so it can spread to and help more people. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you're stuck on a certain section. And please subscribe for more Amazon videos like this. Happy selling and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!